let's take a look at adding the noise modifier to Grease Pencil. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, I was browsing on Twitter and Blender Sushi posted this excellent little render. Essentially what he's using is he's drawn it in Grease Pencil and he's using the noise modifier to basically give that kind of animated movement look and this is fantastic. Now, if you do not know who Blender Sushi is, I recommend you go to his YouTube channel and you check it out. He's got thousands and thousands of videos and I actually watched this one and I got a little bit of inspiration. Uh, let's not call it stealing, let's call it inspiration. And I just wanted to quickly just show the method. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open Blender up, I'm going to go to File and we'll just quickly jump into a 2D animation. Now most of you people kind of know about Grease Pencil, I'm not an expert when it comes to Grease Pencil. I kind of know the basics to be honest but I'm not an illustrator so I don't use it all the time. So I'll just select the ink pen and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly change the colour, change it to black and I'll just very quickly draw something. Now I'm using a Huon Canvas 13 inch I believe and like I said I'm not the best at drawing but the reason I really like this technique is I want to do an animation that uses grease pencil. So I'm kind of teaching myself at the same time but let's quickly draw this. So I'm going to give myself about a month or so. I've written a script and it's going to be kind of animated and it's going to kind of look something like this. But I mean not as bad. So anyway, we essentially have our grease pencil. Worst drawn in the history of Blender. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is make sure you've selected the stroke. This is the stroke here. And what we can do is we can go to the modifier. We can add in a noise modifier. And you can see here it automatically jumps. And this is because of the position. Now the further up you go, you'll notice that the lines go further apart. I generally keep this pretty low, so something like 0.1 would be enough. Now you can change the strength in terms of the factor, but if I just hit play, you can see here we get this kind of nice Beavis and Butthead style with this kind of old school animation, and I love that, and it's going to be fantastic for what I'm going to do. It means I don't need to animate as much, it gives it a little bit of life without actually putting any effort in. So you can change things like the thickness, and this will change the thickness of the lines. And let me just keep playing this because we can play with the values, and you end up getting this kind of splotted effect. So it's quite strange to be honest. When it comes to the strength, that's the strength of the actual pen. So we'll put that back down. We'll put the thickness down. Now UV, I would imagine you would need to actually UV map this. You can change the noise scale, and it kind of gives it that wobbly effect. And now you're kind of going into that early Simpsons look. And you get the noise effect and you can change things like the noise speed and you obviously you have randomise here. So step, so you can see here it says step 4. So that means every 4th frame it will basically apply the effect and you can change this up or down to anything that you want. So every 29 frames it will give you that effect. If you put it down to 1 it becomes pretty rapid to be honest. So let's put that back to 4. And in terms of the influence, you can select either a fill layer or a stroke layer, and it's pretty cool to be honest. And it's just a really cheap way to get nice animation without putting any effort. Make sure you subscribe to Blender Sushi, it does a lot of really good work. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.